Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 11th of 2020. Well, it is titled the tales of comet Neowise. So what do we see here? Well, as we've looked at over the past few days, this is the comet known as Neowise, and it is a prominent comet right now in the morning sky, which will be transitioning into the evening sky. And here we see a nice image of it taken on July the 10th, and we can see the head of the comet towards the lower left hand side, and stretching back, we see two tails. Now comets often have two distinct tails that we see. And here we see those uh, the more prominent tail to the lower uh, right hand side is the dust tail. Now the dust tail is larger particles. And it is material that is pushed back by the pressure of sunlight. So the sunlight itself is pushing that material behind. It's also slightly larger particles. So it has a tendency to lag behind the comet in its orbit. So tails will do two things. First of all, they always note the direction of the sun. The sun is always opposite to the tail. So the tail will be pointing directly away from the sun. Meaning that in this image, the sun would be off the screen to the lower left. And they show the direction of motion of the comet because the dust tail will be left behind during its orbit. So the dust tail will lag behind. So this comet must be moving up towards the upper left a little bit. Now the second tail that we see is the ion tail. Now these are individual atoms of material. And they are pushed back by the sun and by the solar wind. So magnetic fields and the solar wind will push them back. And they will go straight back. So you can see that the uh, ion tail goes pretty much straight back. It's much harder to see very faint up and above the dust tail. And it's a, let's say it's a lot harder to see as those ions will fluoresce due to the sunlight. But it does go straight back. So you can imagine drawing a line through that tail and that would show you the direction of the sun. So while the dust tail gives you a general direction, this gives you a more exact positioning because those lighter particles are pushed almost straight back from the sun. So we see these two tails with the comet and they're both made up of different parts of material. So one is dusty heavier particles and the other is individual atoms and ions much lighter particles. But they are the prominent parts of a comet that we see and that hopefully you'll get a chance to see with Comet Neowise over the coming weeks as it hopefully will continue to remain as a relatively bright comet visible right now in the morning sky and soon transitioning into the evening sky. So that was our picture of the day for July the 11th of 2020. It was titled The Tales of Comet Neowise. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Tales of Comet CG. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.